I think I'm moving to Slovenia, guys. <laughs> and I just want this. This soup is incredible. All right, morning, guys. Uh, here on a Sunday morning in Ljubljana on our last day here. It's been great so far. Uh, we're trying to start the day off with some coffee. But in the meanwhile, Jews engrossed by this Sunday market which is going on. I guess we'll see you at the coffee shop. So, we're at the cafe now. Uh, waiting to be seated, but it's super busy at the moment. Yeah, so. we're like behind two other people. Yeah, so. is, yeah. Hopefully it will only be about maybe five, ten minutes, which I don't mind waiting. But we, but we have time to kill, yeah. so we're willing to wait. Uh, and everything does look nice. It's called Le Petit Café, so I'm guessing a bit of French influence, so maybe yeah. a French style breakfast. So, yeah. Check in in a sec. We got seated sooner than expected and our drinks have just arrived. I've got a coffee and Ju got her fresh orange juice which looks really good by the way. The service does seem to a bit, be a bit slow so it's going to be a patient one. Uh, we've ordered some good looking food so we'll let you know how that goes when it comes. Cheers. So Rui's got his... Croquet Madame. Uh, that's ham, cheese, bechamel sauce and a fried egg on top with more cheese and bechamel sauce. The food came out actually quicker than I thought it would. It came out really fast in the end. And ju has got her um, eggs benedict. Oh yeah. But let me dig into this. Let me, uh, let me crack the egg on this. I don't know if you want to take a picture of that. Nah, that's cool. Oh, that looks delicious. That's so good, you're gonna love it. And I was this close. I was this close to ordering a English breakfast as well, but I thought, let me get something I don't always have. This is good. Go on, G, dig in. With the smoked pork neck as well. Get that yolk. Nice. Good. Yes. <laughs> Good. Yes. All right. Enjoy that. So we had a really, really nice breakfast at Le Petit Cafe and we are now at the National Gallery here yeah. in Ljubljana. Yeah, we're going to kill a little bit of time before our lunchtime meal, which is another restaurant week meal, so stay okay. tuned for that. And yeah, we're going to check out the National Gallery. It was either this National Gallery to kill some time or the Museum of Modern Arts. Right. Uh, we'll let you know how it goes.
lunch spot. Um, but just to touch upon the National Gallery that we visited, um, it was a nice, it was a nice place to go to and visit um, on our last um, day here. Um, I definitely would recommend because it's always nice to go and visit a National Gallery in another person's country. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, it was a great collection of arts, so we do recommend it. But now it's time for lunch. Oh wow, thank you. Guys, we're at our third restaurant in Restaurant Week. Third restaurant of the holiday for Restaurant Week. And we've just been served our first wine as part of the wine pairing. And we're at a restaurant called Slon 1552. Uh, there's three options for the menu, meat, fish and vegan. And the vegan has taken our fancy. So we've, we're getting a vegan, one vegan menu and one meat menu. We started off with these two very interesting welcome dishes before we even got to those impressive stars. You have a pate made of chickpea, and you have a chips made of red bedrock, and a cream made of uh, walnuts. You have a pate made of smoked tuna, kunkas uh, made of pineapples, guacamole, and chips made of red bedrock. Wow, thank you. Amazing. The meat is uh, Iberico pork belly uh, on the bed of fruit vegetable concassi, uh, pochini mushrooms puree inside the cream. And you have coarse sandwich with, with pumpkin, uh, roasted pochini mushrooms and vipava belly walnuts pesto. Lovely. Thank you Sounds so amazing, much. thank you. That's a pumpkin, right? I'm happy. Let me dip for this mushroom. Wow, that, that mushroom. mushroom is meaty. Mm. Get a bit of everything right now. Get a bit of this. Thank you. Thank you. And the pesto. <laughs> Another two great glasses of Slovenian wine to go with these starters before our optional extra course of pumpkin soup with crab wonton arrived. Going in for the pumpkin soup. I think I'm moving to Slovenia, guys. <laughs> and I just want this. This soup is incredible. <laughs> Oh my god, I need you to taste this because this is not real. Yeah. All right, let me just look at the color, guys. Look how vibrant that orange is. I'm gonna go in for the, the, the crab wonton ravioli. <laughs> Struggle is real. All right, I'm not sure I've got any crab in there, but. Oh, that crunch. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. Yeah. The texture of it is spot on. Mmm. Am I gonna love it? When the crab hits. When the crab hits. Oh yeah. That's good. That's good. So oh. excited to eat, guys. Look at this gorgeous food. For me. All the wine here was so delicious, and these two paired perfectly with our mains. The red wine is 60. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. 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 Yeah. Wow. We have strukli. This is typical Slovenian dish. Usually, it's slightly different. It's filled with cottages, mm -hmm. just uh, rolled pastry and cooked. So this one is with our twist. It's stuffed with chickpea. Underneath, you have Jerusalem artichoke souffle, mm -hmm. soup with vegetables, pumpkin puree, and vegetable demi glace sauce. Mm. Voilà. Yes, 
we have filet of wild boar, we have neck of deer, uh, again strukli. Um, one is filled with carrot, the other one is filled with tiny apples and chestnuts. Wow. Pumpkin puree, a lot of pumpkin everywhere. Oh, nice. And smoked cranberry. Amazing. Enjoy. Thank you so much. In short, this was delicious. Both desserts were delicious also, for which we messed up the close-up footage, so you're gonna have to appreciate from afar. Sorry. It's gonna be a party dessert. And after the dessert, they even treated us to the dessert after their the homemade dessert. chocolates. The dessert after the dessert. Such a nice touch. Guys, that was another great dining experience and a, and a perfect one to end our restaurant week experience in Slovenia but we have one last spot for you before we go home The skyscraper Nabotanovic, I believe it's called. I'm sure I pronounce it terribly, but it offers a great place to get 360 degree views of Ljubljana. Let's take you around real quick. Killing some time before our flight home at the tallest and probably the best skyscraper in Ljubljana, which offers great views across the city. And whilst we're here, I got myself an IPA and also this liqueur, pronounced, check the, check the pronunciation, Boronichka. It's a blueberry liqueur, and we was recommended to try it by our good friend Kitty. Uh, so I'm gonna give this a go. really nice and Ju has got herself a green tea yes please but thank you so much Ljubljana you have been amazing if you enjoyed this video and the rest of our Slovenia series please do give this video a like and if you haven't already please please do subscribe to this channel We've got a lot more travel and foodie vids coming for you in 2020. Peace.